Hello and welcome. My name is Dom, and today we're going to be talking about shield types that enemies can have and how you can kind of counteract those shields and use them to your advantage or how powerful those shields can be if you decide to try to fight against them without using the counters. So to kick off this discussion, we're also going to talk about damage types and something called match game. So that there's three different damage types that you can do in Destiny 2. There is solar damage, which is shown by this icon here. There is void damage, which is shown by this purple icon here. And there is arc damage shown by this icon here. Now coming soon, there is something called stasis, which should be out in a few days. It will be located over on the right hand side over here. And it's a completely different new damage element. So there will be four of these. But I just wanted to get this out quick because the principle will be the same. If there are stasis shields or something, then it will the principle will still be the same. Now we can go through and if we look at our top or kinetic weapon slot here, none of these weapons, regardless of the ammo type, so special ammo or regular ammo, none of these weapons here actually have elemental types. But if we go down into the energy weapon slot and the power weapon slot, each of the weapons that we go over have a different elemental type. So some will have solar, some will have void, um, some will have arc. Again, we don't know what specifically is going to happen with stasis. I doubt that stasis will be on weapons. I think it will mostly just be a super thing. But again, if some weapons do have a stasis damage type, then it would show up just like this with just the stasis icon that you'll find located here. So now that we know that there are three different types of damage or four, if you include stasis, that we can deal to different enemies, what happens when we see shields in game? Well, if we see this guy here, if I shoot him once, you'll see that he has a purple shield. So because of what we've learned, purple means void. So if I'm shooting this void shield with this weapon here, you can see how long it takes to break that shield, right? But if I swap to a void weapon, we'll let the shield go to full. It was a lot quicker, a lot less bullets for me to use a void weapon against the shield. And then also you'll see what happens when you destroy the shield with an energy weapon of the same type. So I'm just about to destroy it here. And it creates an elemental dis uh, explosion that affects this enemy here, but then also every other enemy in the area around that enemy. So when we're attacking shields, we want to do our best to match up against the element if we can. But what you can also do is, for example here, let me swap to a different energy weapon. This is an arc energy weapon. You can see down in the left hand corner that it has a little blue icon beside the ammo number. This is going to be quicker than using an, a kinetic weapon. So these regular bullets, right? It's going to be quicker than this but it's going to be slower than using an element uh, or an energy weapon of the same type. So this one still goes by pretty quick, but you can see that it doesn't create an elemental explosion, but it does get rid of the shield. Now, obviously, like I said, the most efficient way is to use the same color or the same energy type as the shield that the opponent has. But if you only have two options and one option is a kinetic so regular bullets, no energy type, or any kind of weapon with an energy type, it's easier to take out the shields with the energy types. Also, you can use abilities. So if I use that, that took away half of the shield, and you can get away with the other half of the shield pretty quick there. Or you could throw your grenade, you could use your super, things like that. So if we throw the grenade, this is a pretty powerful grenade, so it got rid of the shield very quickly. But... That is essentially how you take out shields efficiently in this game. Now, if you come across a what is called a modifier or something that makes the mission or whatever activity you are in harder called match game, that means that if I try to shoot this purple shield with this blue energy weapon or a kinetic weapon, 
anything that is not a purple or void damage weapon it will do no damage to the shield essentially it'll do a little bit but it would take so so much time so much effort and so many bullets to be able to get rid of the shield it makes it way more resistant to any damage that isn't the same type so we can see here that we have both of the shields we have or two of the three shields currently we have solar and we have a void shield now, obviously, for the solar, my you actually we can test it here. So, for this one, my melee attack did about half damage. Let's see how much my melee attack does to this shield. So you can see it does pretty much three fourths of the bar there just with my melee attack. Now, my grenade. Let's see what happens with the grenade. The initial throw of the grenade took away about two thirds of the shield. And then you end up doing more damage overall with the grenade because the damage type matched the shield. So just a quick recap here. There are different damage types in this game and you want to do the you do your best when you see shields like this to match the damage type or the color of the shield to the damage type on the weapon that you have. You can check the damage type of your current weapons equipped in the bottom left hand corner there. You can see them when you have them equipped. You can see it right beside the ammo on the left hand side there. If we pull out our heavy weapon here, you can see that we right beside the damage type. So they, there's an icon for the weapon and then there's the amount of ammo that a weapon has in between that for energy weapons and power weapons, like we said you'll be able to see the energy type of the weapon. So again, currently three energy types. There's possibly another one coming that may come to weapons in some shape or form and may come to enemy shields. If it is, then, then you can also see the color of that shield and match it to the energy type of the current weapon that you need to use for that shield. So this is just a quick guide on how you can actually fight against shields and use them to your advantage in games and fighting enemies and also what is match game and how to actually like fight against match game and actually be effective and be able to complete those missions. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, consider subscribing to the channel for a ton more Destiny 2 content that's going to help you guys get the most out of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody.